My name is Elizabeth Broussard. My name is Katie, I go to high school. My name is Chelsea, and I go to Sulby Lane. I had the idea to teach the environmental class because I've always been passionate about the environment. My degree was in biology, and so I've always been really interested in nature and the planet. And I had already talked to a few students when I first got here, and they mentioned community cleanups, and they mentioned a lot of a big desire to take care of the planet, so I thought it'd be a really great fit for the CNS Youth Center. In environmental justice class, we clean up trash. In environmental justice class, we check out the garden and pick out um, vegetables and fruit that have already, like, that have been rotted in. This class means a lot to me. I think, especially whenever I come each week, and there's always a lot of students who are excited to come and participate. I remember when I first brought up and asked people if they wanted to come for a community cleanup, I thought that maybe I would get two students, and the fact that I had 18 the first day meant so much to me. Just to see that excitement and that passion for taking care of the planet was really beautiful to see. To me, environmental justice class means to take care of the city. Um, I've noticed a lot of trash that continues to build up, especially in the streets in the North Fair Oaks area, especially if you get closer to Fifth Avenue, um, nearby El Camino, that's where we've noticed a lot, of a lot of trash. And even if we clean it one week, we can come back the next week and there's still even more trash. And so we're hoping to get a lot of trash cans that the public can use. That way, instead of just throwing trash into the bushes or on the grass, that the public can then throw away their trash in trash cans and the streets will remain clean for longer periods of time. Yes, I think that the environmental justice class uh, does make a change in my you know, community because uh, some animals like the owl outside um, can die because of eating trash. Um, hopefully the changes I've made so far have been um, letting people know the importance of taking care of the planet, to take honor and pride in their neighborhoods and in their community. And in doing so, that they can, even if it's not part of a community cleanup, if they're just walking home from school one day and they notice, let's say, an empty bottle on the ground, that instead of walking past it, people will then pick it up and take it home, just on their normal routes to and from school. I feel happy about them. Um, I think there's always room for improvement <laughs> and there's always more room for change. So I'm excited to see greater changes going on in the community and to see more passion and more um, things put in place to help keep the neighborhoods clean and take care of the planet. But if anything, I hope I'm proud of the greater awareness that our students are understanding. What I have learned in environmental justice class is that um, taking care of uh, our city is very, uh, is very important. Um, coming from Texas, I remember the big things that would come up would be hurricanes or tornadoes, things like that. But here, forest fires have been obviously a big concern in California. Um, I think just the fact that with global warming, our, there's not as much rainfall, um, which makes our lands drier and more susceptible to forest fires. I think that's really concerning. But also we were talking about when we were doing one of our most recent community cleanups, just the number of straws and plastic rings that were on the ground, which those, if they get into the environment, yes, we hear about um, the oceans being affected, but even just birds here in our community, if they choke on those straws, it can lead to a lot of deaths. Um, and we don't want that. So I think just making sure that we reduce our, pla our use of plastics and global warming are probably the two issues that I'm most concerned about. What others can do to help the environment is look out for trash and clean it. Um, taking pride, I think, in your community, especially if this is your home, um, and not letting it fall to waste. So, one thing that's always on my mind and I think I've answered, or I've kind of used it when answering my questions is the community cleanup. So, you know, making sure that we're picking up trash, whether you're part of a service event or if you're just walking around. But I think also just being knowledgeable or making an effort to gain knowledge about the environment and what ways that we can help it.